Okay, it's time for Aquaman in 3D. Now, this is something which I don't like. Is they didn't give you the digital code. I already have it with my 4K version. I think I have a Blu-ray version of it too. I don't remember. Maybe I don't. I have a 4, 4K version, but whatever. This is all the stuff in it right here. Um, it's about... I forgot how long this movie is. I know there's a lot of glare and all. I'm trying to see it right now. 100 and... 43 minutes, so it's a pretty long movie. Now, people said that 3D wasn't good, but I had this in my cart for about four months or longer, and I thought, you know, bite the bullet, but they do give you the blue regular Blu-ray with it. No DVD. For the, bond, the price at the time, they should have given you the DVD, because it was like 30 bucks at the time. Okay. Here we are. We got the regular Aquaman Blu-ray. I like that. That's some good disc art. And even the 3D version has something on it, at least this time, compared to most 3D movies. As you can see, there's nothing in the background, so I'm not going to sh sh bother lifting that one. So, um, close this. Um, usually, there'd be a, if there was a code, it would tell you when it expires sometimes up here, but that's not there this time. You got some extra special features which nobody really cares about because most of the time it's no good. I don't care what anyone says. Special features are a thing of the past. The long past when you didn't have access to YouTube as much. Okay. That's about it. So if you want to get this movie, you can get it for um, brand new for like 20 23 bucks. That's not bad compared to all 3D movies around $30 when they came out usually in this region of North America. All right, bye-bye.